Welcome to Season 4 of Master Saga. Each week, MBT and I open packs in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel before dueling to determine that episode's winner. This season, we've made several exciting rule changes, and there's plenty of surprises planned for future episodes. Tune in every Wednesday for new episodes of Master Saga Season 4. start with me just doing this and it's really hard because they have to upscale like a little box so I'm just going to give them like this like the actual correct sized thing and then we'll go to the stream setup okay I don't know how we were <laughs> I don't know how we won that one yes I do I'm lying well, what can I say other than big, big chungus, big chungus, big chungus. Somehow we are still scraping wins off of Doug's literacy. And thankfully now we have a card pool whose effects actually punish Doug if he doesn't read them. I'm very happy with the deck that we pulled last time. I think that Sword Soul has what it takes to go the distance at least until the next banning. However, However, I don't expect it to live afterwards. So the things we pull today are not only going to have to shore up our existing strategies, they're also going to have to make way for new ones after the banning. Now, importantly, we, we don't, don't really, really have, have any eight star shit grows. So above everything, I am looking for a pack that has a nice generic eight that we can go into. And to start it off, let's begin with 10 packs of the master. Okay. So we've had not a lot of good master pack luck in the last couple of episodes. Um, not in terms of the packs that we pulled. Obviously, getting the Sword Soul pack was crazy. Um, though that happened in the specific Tenyi pack. But in terms of pulling packs, period. We've walked out of the last couple of these with like 10 total... What the hell? Damn, Pendulum Monster. I was so excited. We could go back into the Utopic one. We've walked out of most of these with like five total packs that we can choose from. And usually, uh, Rulers of the Deep is one of them. Another Raider's Wing is nice. Um, I'm uh, not super excited for a Pendulum pack, gonna be honest. A uh, Devouring Sarcophagus is actually a really good card. Uh, just came out a little too late. What does Apprentice Illusion unlock? I guess we'll find out at the end. Uh, what is there, an Insect pack I'm unfamiliar with? Snore! Oh, love this card. I actually have it ulti for Edison. You're so cool. Another snore of a pack. It, this is always weird to me. I hate looking at this. Odd Eyes Peeled Dragon. Ugh! Uh, okay. It doesn't even open a pack. That's for the best. I'm not going into Crystal Beast regardless. What did I say? We usually end with five total packs to choose from. Well, here we are once again. Let's go! Folks, let us know in the comments below if you want us to do JJ again. <laughs> if you want us to finish JJ. Oh, okay. Uh, Power of the Guardians unlocks something. Ooh, Obedience School does as well. Obedience School does a really interesting pickup, actually. Because a lot of the decks that are powerful with Obedience School are powerful only if they have Obedience School. So having that opens up our ability to do, like, Melfi shenanigans. Was that No You Are... Again, we have pulled so many no you are's on this stupid ass series. I swear to God. Oh man, that, that is, is so, so fucking annoying. annoying. All right, here we are with 10 master packs. Maybe we can pull a good secret pack, a playable secret pack this week. And uh, maybe we can not throw as well. I'll try to be a little bit more focused in the duel, I guess. But um, MBT has a ridiculous strategy. I know he's been uh, kind of downplaying his decks the last few weeks, but I think that even he can probably agree that his deck this past week was uh, ridiculous, just insane. Pretty much uh, full power sword soul, at least in a sealed environment uh, is concerned. So, first, uh, oh, gross. Rank of magic, quick chaos. Ew. Uh, pack number three. <laughs> but that big, the big chungus, it just, got chungus. Um, trap tricks, uh, infernal, but these are like just terrible, terrible pulls. Hmm. Pack number four, dragon's bind. We actually have a couple of those. Morphtronic, just what we wanted. Um, the difficult part now is that it seems like he's hard countering us, so I don't know for episode 14, which is the last episode before the ban list, should I keep playing Orcus? I mean, he's gonna like hit it next ban list for sure, so I feel like I should try one more time. I think if I just didn't make a blunder, it would have been a little better. But also, if he's playing the system down, I think that we could maybe try, one of the things that I cut was the um, Crusadia cards because 
I didn't have room for the Crusadia extra deck stuff and the Muddy Mud Dragon stuff. But um, the Crusadia cards, uh, the Equimax actually is a way to negate cards like System Down, which is kind of interesting. And then also it's not a machine monster at all. Uh, this pack, I don't know. Let's look at what fires we have. We do have Fire Formation Tanky. I think this pack is the Sacred Phoenix stuff as well as Fire King. Maybe just those two. So, I don't know. Finally, a UR. What do we got? Blue Boy. Um, interesting. Spellbooks are maybe a little outdated. Are, I don't even know, though. Are spellbooks outdated in 2023 sealed environments? That's the real question. Why do we keep pulling Judgment of Thunder? Oh, it's, oh, that's the Unchained pack? Oh, nice. We did that last season. Token co token collector. <laughs> oh, wait, what the fuck? This is actually good, kinda. In the fable deck that we're gonna play someday. Uh, these don't even feel like these were that good of packs. Yeah, only four seeker packs. Hmm. Well, let's get to thinking. All right. So first and foremost, we are going to pull one pack of Champions of Hope. This is so we can use our UR craft on it and just get Utopia. Finally, we can craft the Utopia that we've been missing for 15 episodes. The problem is, I know that dumb fuck is just about to ban it. All right, cool. Great pack. All right, we're going to start pulling from the bug pack. It's pretty mid. Um, and we're just going to hope that we get a better pack through pulling. Hello. Get me out of here. What the fuck? No. My own damn hubris. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. Uh, number two, number two. Okay. Oh. Get me out. Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. We will take the Melfi pack. Oh! It doesn't open the Melfi pack. Come on. We've opened like four cards that should have opened the Melfi pack. Oh, fuck. That's five. What are we doing? All right, we're going to go 10 deep in the bugs. Um, There's some good stuff in here. In a world where we pull a fucking UR for once in our goddamn life, uh, Insector Dragonfly is a really strong card that we can maybe make work. Like, this is, I think, the start of a powerful new deck. We just got to get there. Oh, I mean, that's not great, but it, there are a couple... There are a couple of... Okay. Well, if they all keep coming out... Come out a little later here. Ladybug, Hopper, good. Uh... <laughs> Man, maybe we should have done one more. We would go in the Magical Musket Pack. I'm kidding. I don't... The Magical Musket Pack's not great. Actually, it might be crazy, but it's very easy to ban out. And Doug's gonna get fucking at least three bans. Oh, come on. It couldn't be in the pack. You're kidding me. Ugh, awful. Awful stuff. Oh, joy. Do you even want pack you are? Yes, very badly. Um, Dragonfly is in there. But even even if we just get Hornets and Centipedes, that's not bad. Speaking of, I, these are all good. That's a Sword Soul trap, by the way. What if we play that? Sword Soul Stare. That's our playset of Sting the Poison. That's really good. Just a generally strong card. Please be from the pack. I can't do another out of the pack ultra unless it's a fucking Pankratops. I'm begging you. Okay, it's in the pack. Wait, what the fuck is going on with this pack? Jesus. Okay, let's start. Deep. Whoa. That's a good card. That's not. Oh, if, I, if that was a royal, I would have been very upset. Come on now. <laughs> oh, come on. I can't even play this deck because they're all in the goddamn solo mode. Uh, Ballista the Armageddon's a good card. Hey, give me another hollow. 
Oh, okay. Wait, hold up. Garuda's good. Whoa. Whoa! I'm not going to craft a uh, dragonfly. We will be crafting the Utopia, I think. This is a lot less bad than I thought it was going to be. We'll, we'll figure some out. All right, let's try Unchained. I know I went into this the previous season, but the other three packs just don't make sense, like, at all. So I'll try five packs. We might switch it up. Let's see what we got, though. Dark Deal for my Dark World deck. That's a good one. That's... <gasps> Change, Change my, my mind. mind. Okay, pack number two. Um, I know this has a bunch of garbage in it, but it also has the Labyrinth cards, which are ridiculous. So let's go for that. I love the Labyrinth deck. I know people in Master Duel probably hate it because it's like boring, but in the TCG, it's a lot of fun. Or we could pull Dark Spirit of Malice. Um, that's fine too. If this pack looks really bad in the first four packs, we might um, switch. Oh my God, wait, the Fossil pack. Oh, wow, wait a second. We actually have a lot of normal traps. Yeah, let's go, we're gonna do one more in here. I don't know. Oh, I just don't know. There's a lot of bad cards in this pack and the Labyrinth cards are really high rarity, but maybe we'll just pull them. Ever think about that? Those are like the worst two supers. Pack four? I mean, we're just getting hollows. We already have a Stovey Tovey, by the way. You know, the furniture cards being low rarity makes this, like, really appealing. The Alamander Catalyzer, that's a fabled card. Gosh, I don't know. Pack five? Yeah. Hmm. This is so... I don't know. Red Dragon Archfiend, holy fuck. <laughs> What's going on here? I think we gotta risk it. Oh, fuck, we don't have money. All right, let's just get lucky. Ah, fuck. Oh, uh, redo, redo, redo. Wait, I totally forgot about the lifeline. Ah, uh, we'll get it later. The lifeline is the one that MET used and cheated with, which was, um, oh, Steel Swarm's broken, um, which is that we get five packs of a secret pack we opened in the previous episode. So we'll probably go for the danger pack, just try to get um, the danger, Tsuchinoko and Jackalope and Nessie. But forgot that. Drytron Nova, oh god, this is not... No, 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 this is fine. This is fine. It's only pack two. It's only pack two. Only pack two. We just need one big welcome. Oh my god, Sangin's in this pack. Broken. Wait. Oh my god, wait. Sangin actually is broken. Sangin into All Mirage, into Crusadia, whatever, into special. Oh my god, that's actually crazy in Crusadia. Like, unironically, like the best normal summon in that deck. Sangin by itself is full Crusadia combo. Think about that. <gasps> Visa Starfrost, that's a pretty good card. Um, yeah, that's actually really flexible. Okay, now we're gonna think about like what we can do with level seven tuners. What does that open up? I don't know. Pack five. Right, I regret this so much. Uh, Volcanic Scattershot. Uh, I mean, what the fuck is this? Oh my God, why is that in here? It's a normal trap. <laughs> maybe this was a bad idea. I wish I would have... Maybe I should have gone into this pack in Roulette first before trying this. Roulette's always a good testing ground. Perfect. God, literally the worst super rare in the whole pack. Seven. <laughs> I, I didn't even realize or think about that. I mean, he gets to see the Utopia slash the board every week. Victory Viper. Metal Morph. <sighs> Man, it's like... We really have, like, the beginnings of a good Fiend deck. But, I don't know. Like, the Layer of Darkness stuff, Fiendish Rhino, Sangin, but, oh my god. We haven't pulled a single Furniture card. In 15 packs, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't think I saw that. We don't have any Chandeliers. I own a Stovey Toby. Final pack here. <laughs> Furniture! God damn it. <sighs> ah, man. I don't think our pulls could have been any worse. I think I pulled more Sangins than Labyrinth cards. Oh, fuck. Okay, so let's open our five from the danger. Back. All right, let's use the lifeline. We got five packs from a pack we opened in the previous episode. We're going to go for danger monsters. Let's go. <gasps> Ultra rare. Maybe we can get our Labyrinth cards out of here. 
Like, the thing is, Lady Labyrinth is still, like, just a good card by itself. Holy fuck! You know, I did try to build a, a Fluffle deck without Polly. That was a thing that I tried to do. Pack number two. Perfect. Pack number three. Oh, we got the last field spell. Nice. Got the Kyoto Waterfronts. Volcasaurus. That's a good pickup. Come on, man. We own like four of this guy, if not five. <sighs> Pack number number? I think it says three or four. I don't know. Post in the comments. This is four? Okay. One more. Thunderbird? Um, oh, cool. Uh, yeah, we actually didn't have this. And then... Now we have three danger zones. Maybe we play like a, I don't know, man. <laughs> the words that were gonna come out of my mouth there made no fucking sense. I was gonna say, maybe we play trap control dangers. But I don't think that is a thing. These five packs have been better than the last 20. That's not true at all, actually. And Morphtronic Earphon. What the fuck were these poles? Let's get to deck building, I guess. So here's the deck, and just a quick aside, did you all know it's my birthday? I'm, <laughs> no, don't put that in, don't put that in. So here's the deck, and you might notice that it is almost exactly the same as last week's deck, with one notable difference. Uh, that is that we have a Sword Soul Emergence in here, because we reread the lifeline, and we were supposed to craft a main deck SR, not an extra SR. So instead of the second Baxia, we now have an Emergence main. And honestly, I think that's better, um, but we filled the extra space in our uh, extra deck with an Earth Golem Adagnister. But Joseph, you say, I can hear you already through the screen. You're all very loud. You've got a 16 card extra. That's because our craft this week is number 39 Utopia, which is going to enable us via Utopia Double to OTK Doug any time that he allows us to play a rank four deck in the future. That said, we don't want him to know that we have it. So it's just gonna, it's just gonna sneak away there. And that's what the extra deck is going to look like this episode. Uh, I thought, you know, maybe he, he would be on salad for this. We can like super poly into it. But uh, outside of that, we're still on the system down. I mean, I can't imagine him not playing Orcist. I'm very happy to retire this deck after this episode because there is just no fucking way we're allowed to have this for more than two weeks. Bye-bye. All right, here we are. We are one episode away from a new ban list, and you know what that means. We're going to try to play our best strategy available, which I think is Danger Orcist Kaiju. I have cut the Crusadia cards. I like them a lot, but I just feel like this is the best deck that we can be playing this week. I've added more Kaiju cards to deal with the Chaofeng on Darks, of course, or even a Yangzing monster with the Counter Trap. You know, maybe we can just stop the Counter Trap from being used if he doesn't full combo. And uh, I think overall, it's a really solid deck. The main goal is to do Orcus combo plus one non-machine combo so if we open the red resonator we can always do the mirror jade Orcus combo but also if we open a couple danger monsters we can usually get to the Borload savage dragon Orcus combo which is pretty good i think this strategy should be decent going first and second we're playing five kaijus because i think that should be the right number to draw one and not too many extra copies of them going second and i think overall we should have a pretty good chance this week our craft is going to be an extra copy of danger Suchinoko because our labyrinth pulls are um, way more than one craft away from being playable and I think that this is the best way to give us a chance this week. Let's get into the duels though. Uh, okay. Oh my god I won the coin toss. Okay I do think the coin toss was pretty Oh important. it was important for sure. Yeah. I know in your profile last week I think you said you were okay with going second and that's fine you do have the triple ecclesia but I think I really wanted to go first. Oh I have this card called Baxia. Oh, true, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one of it now, though. And just so you know, if if I win this episode, I've tied up the series. A lot of pressure on this one. Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. You're saying that, like, it's never happened before. But me winning the previous episode stopped the series from being tied up. And me winning two at the beginning of this five prevented me from being in the loser seat. This has been an even series the whole time, shockingly. Let's start with... Well, you know, no. last time I remember you set one and passed and said, that'll do it. That's fine. You had Dark Glock to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hadn't. Last yeah, you had No, you hadn't. I don't know. I literally anyway. never oh, no, it, it was that, that you had, uh, it was that you had, uh, you had the counter trap. 
I didn't have any Kaijus in my deck last week. It was pretty sad. Uh, let's go... Oh, God, I'm really willing to risk this. Sure. Let's activate Suchinoko. What's the worst that can happen? Um, Ash? That's not great. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go! Okay, actually, we're crazy. Let's go normal summon Red oh, Resonator. Here we go again. Activate the yeah. special ability. Oh, yeah. Special summoning. Um, Wait, am I going to have enough zones for this? Uh, And then we'll discard Nightmare for the best <laughs> card in the deck, the Tricky. Jesus Christ. And, yeah. uh... okay, so from here, can't really do anything with the board right now. It's Doug, listen. Weird. Yeah. I'd appreciate if you'd hurry up. I'm gonna try. I mean, we, I've been practicing. I've been practicing my combos, but it's just there's so much more. When I'm doing this by myself, I'm like whipping through these combos. But when we're in the duel, it's a little different. Harp? Yeah, this isn't gonna quite get to <clears throat> harp special symbol. Yeah. Hmm. One sec. Let me do some math here. Fresh cards. I need the. I need the zoom. The... <laughs> that shit was so funny. <laughs> yeah. I was like, just go crazy during that. Let's go. I think it always is these two. Summon Galatea. Now hold the phone. Fu hold the <laughs> phone. Right Galatea's right. getting summoned here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we can do this real quick. You know. I think we're actually putting this one back. What are we doing, Doug? What are we setting? <sighs> okay, so I think... God, if I just had one more monster, we could Savage, Crescendo, Dingir, see you. That's the craziest yeah, part. that would be really crazy. Must be it, nice. Doug? Must be nice. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We're just going to play it. Oh. As safe oh, God, as he's... humanly possible. Honk shoe dog. <laughs> we are just gonna tic tac toe hey, and pass. That's the end board. Holy shit! That's man. all I got, man. I'm sorry. I tried my best. Uh, oh, that's not a great draw. Um, I gotta get that foolish burial. Um, mm -hmm. is that buyable? The foolish burial graveyard. Or was that a unlock? Because if it's an unlock, I'm really sad. Oh, yeah, you could just purchase it. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's go for it. Well, I have to think about what we do here now. Yeah. All right, well, uh, you know. Mapuda. This is the crescendo, by the way. This is where you fire the crescendo. Yeah, yeah. What does this one do? Targets. Oh, sure. <laughs> no, I just want to make sure it wasn't the... I think the wind one is the attack boosting or changing one. Watch out for my monk. There it is. And I can tell you probably for the last time. <laughs> fuck. The, I don't think that card's surviving. You're going to ban monk? <laughs> you are such a, you're such a savage. A bore load <laughs> savage. Damn. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> I mean, help crush up. cards when you <laughs> place the, the. I don't know if you know how to describe that meme. I don't know. Uh, I will activate like... Vessel for the Dragon Cycle. Will you? Will you yeah, really? You let that one resolve. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What if I tell you I think. Can you I think have of maybe a way to... that this would there... really fuck you up? There's actually no way. Even if, you, even if this is bait, I can't yeah, let right. the bait through. <laughs> When the bait sets you up with two monsters, unfortunately, it is no longer bait. It is just a good card. Uh, regrettably, um, uh, you now lose the game. <sighs> All right, how do we want to do this? Um, we can just skip a step. We want to give him the opportunity. No, because it trades for the card being on field. All right, <sighs> see you. All right, so um, now we'll just uh, go ahead and normal summon uh, Taya. All right, well, what can I do? <laughs> what, <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> that's just that's just Sword Soul, baby. That's just My Sword Soul. My helicopter goes twa 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 yeah. twa. <laughs> and even though we only have one copy, because someone got his panties in a twist about me just actively cheating. <laughs> <laughs> 
Go Man, is the here. only um, card you could have there exactly the Vash anyway, anyway. Mall, 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 mall. Oh, you know, you know what actually also would have beat it is a uh, smashing ground. <laughs> Fair. Damn. No, what's crazy? No, 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 I'm not counting. I'm not counting the match out yet. No, we're still going. Here we go. Yeah, tie effect <laughs> and go for it. You know what's actually insane is that. <laughs> Oh man, I just Turn two of I game really one. don't know what I want to send here. Um I have an insane amount of good hits. Uh I mean this one's pretty good. <laughs> uh we could do 33. Problem is I want to keep one up for this. I have a a really really funny line. <laughs> Uh, it is actually a comical line. It's making me laugh. <laughs> so are you going to do it? <laughs> I am, yes. Yo! Um, we are going to send Mayor Mayor to the graveyard. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's still, I'm going to ban Mayor Mayor. I'm going to swear to God. You maybe should. No, that's fine. Don't, don't. I think we just go combat here. I think this, we're allowed to go combat. Um... Is that better or worse? No, I was just going to say that um, it is kind of funny because I did pull, like, obviously one of the best combo decks we've ever seen, but you have pulled probably one of the best board breaking packs that we've ever seen as well, besides maybe, like, the kaiju one. Um, so this is really, like, literally uh, true. immovable Very object correct. versus uh, unstoppable force. Unfortunately, your force is from 2021 20, or 22, I can't remember. That's true. Although, actually, you've activated mainly cards released, like, before mine, <laughs> actually. <laughs> now that yeah. I look at it. Except for exactly oh. Taya. Which oh, was pretty These good. two to the grave. For Shaman. Yeah. Shaman effect. This card should only build a summon. Suwani. Yeah, sure. Target Mare Mare. One... Two. Yeah. Three. <laughs> Dang long. <laughs> uh, he's just chilling. This is and the then... dumbest shit I've ever seen in Master Suck. <laughs> we are also gonna make Sasahara. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And then, wait, 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 Doug, 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 wait. No, trust me, I know. Yeah, yeah, you drew, yeah, you drew nine pillars. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, woo. Thank you, dude. I hate you so much. Okay, let's go Orgus Crescendo. Oh, uh, man. Dark Machine. There's not a Dark Machine Kaiju. Yeah. Um, can you imagine? Oh my god, if there what there should be. I really wanted, if I unlocked, like, the Gizmec pack, I think I probably would have gone into it, um, to be completely oh, honest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would have been crazy. The uh, Harpoor is good. Harpoor? Activate Suchinoko. Hit the snake. I demand you hit the snake. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> you. Just gotta show him who's boss, baby. I'm the boss, baby. <laughs> I'm the little birthday baby. <laughs> boss, baby. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, it doesn't matter against the crescendo, but it's like Snake, because just so if chat, if you don't know, if Snake hits, hits the harp, it discards it without summoning itself. Like, that would have been crazy. Sonic could have normal summoned it. Um. Anyway, yeah, set. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, shit. We got oh, outplayed. Fuck, man. Wait, why didn't you special this guy? What? Are you serious? You special Snake. The um, crescendo block. Why did you activate crescendo? <laughs> because okay, I just explained no it. Shaman. Because if the snake, well, okay, think about this. My draw was only snake, so my play is set snake and pass. But if I add the harp and then the snake hits the harp, the snake stays in hand, the harp goes to grave, okay, and then I can normal good. the snake. No, ban yeah. good. no, you're right. You're right. Thanks. What the fuck am I sending here? I don't think it matters. We can't actually even use Ashina because you haven't. Oh, <laughs> I have another comedic line. 
<laughs> I mean, at this I have point, another very funny. I line. think you're going for him. I don't see how this first. You know what? I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't laughing at this first line. I didn't find it funny. <laughs> oh. Sometimes comedy is in the eye of the beholder, Doug. And I beholden you accountable for making Orcus. Ah, <laughs> uh, now that there's oh, okay, this on one's kind of funny. Video. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> All right. Um. Get in there. Yeah. Yeah. And now that I have a a fucking normal monster on my side of the field, you can start doing whatever you so, want. Uh, we will grab grab it Hara here. It doesn't really do anything. I'm like walking into like the stupidest lines ever. Uh, it's still at Hara. <laughs> Um, You're looking at a, a seventeen hundred attack or 1700 life points opponent <laughs> with no cards on hand and field. Just make yeah. monk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want that Vish back too. I'm not fucking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you want to make sure you're giving yourself every opportunity to win this game. I get it. You could go Berserker. Very correct, chat. I will not be doing that, however. I think you want to keep that Deng Long around, actually. Okay, what can I draw here? Um, I have a Harp activation. Man, I have Symbol Skeleton. That would have been pretty good last turn. Hmm. What does this guy do? Um, sure. Okay, well, let's go this. We'll try it. Oh! Could have used it. Okay, that last actually turn. doesn't change anything, right? Because I float into a Yang Zing. I wasn't sure if you would, because you discarded the Swanee, and I wasn't sure how many you were playing this week. Okay, fair. Certainly, we're playing a Chi Win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. <laughs> Next game. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. may have found the out okay hey. no longer <laughs> that was a pretty good draw i'm not gonna lie uh all right fresh cards throw up the gif ashina <laughs> yeah that's pretty good oh that's pretty good oh my god all right so you have what like 19 kaijus in hand <sighs> Have I said this yet? Do you, I think I did. The, I didn't play any kaijus last week. That's how much I disrespected yeah, your collection. No. I was, that and was then you real just, stupid of you. Dude, did you see the decks you were playing? The, the <laughs> how could you have known? How could you have known? No, how could you have known? You're right. <laughs> Dude shows up. You go from your, your best board being a no negate 4700 guy that can't be targeted or destroyed to this. <laughs> anyway, complain, 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 cope, cope. cope. Cool combo. It's okay. You could you can keep going, baby. It's it's not gonna change. I'm just complaining <laughs> knowing that you would have if the tables were reversed. Oh, I Doug, I'm being completely honest with you. You would not have been able to upload the episodes <laughs> if we had two consecutive more orchest ones. I would have found a way. I would have hacked into the mainframe, I would have said yeah, my yeah. catchphrase, it wouldn't have made it. <laughs> uh alright, so do a little math for me. Four plus one is uh, Dang that's Dang Long, baby. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking Dang Long. You know what I'm saying? So where did we go wrong? Um, well, I need to start sending messages to Konami to make these secret packs just a little worse for my sealed series because they're getting a little too good. I'll tell you that right now. What the fuck do we add here? Do I expect there to be another turn? Yes, certainly. Right. Um, we haven't normaled. <laughs> I'm just now realizing. Um. What do we want? I, I mean, Chi Wen seems okay. Uh, Chiao Tu seems okay. They all seem pretty good. Do we want to try and dark lock? I'm pretty sure he's got a kaiju. Chad, in case you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm playing around Ash Blossom because I know the dumbass has Ash Blossom. They always do. What if the kaiju is Radian? I know he has Radian, Chad. I, I don't think he's going to play that one. <laughs> Let's see if we can actually just kill here. So we go... Yeah, that one seems good. Like a crazy... How how could you ever expect that I would add that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dhara. <laughs> okay, 
Ashina. Sure. I'm just looking at all these cards that are about to get banned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they really are. This card. Sure. Hey, you know who we actually haven't seen yet? Shithana? Longmon. Oh, yeah, yeah. True. I think we've been missing the uh, the Chengying action here on Master Saga. <sighs> Oh yeah, you do know I have Changing. Yeah. 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 No, I, I saw it. Changus, he has arrived. Big, big Changus, big Changus, big Changus. There he is. Thank you. Uh, and I think we just kill you. Burn here. for twelve. Yeah. Let's. We'll try it. You know, big Changus would be lethal here by Yang shooting uh, Denglong. Just saying. Big Chungus would be legal. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's pretty good, too. We're just going to try and kill you here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you got Swanee. Oh, man. Who could have predicted... Yeah, fair. Is this lethal already? It's 66. It's a little off. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Good thing you don't. Oh fuck you! You fucking <laughs> so much. What? You just had the system down. <laughs> yeah, I also had the system down. Fair. Don't worry. This one, um, this one wasn't gonna. Don't work activate. Just anyway. click battle phase. Stop BMing me. <laughs> I'm not BMing, dude. I'm playing around. Uh, you have 93. <laughs> Gores. Playing around. I'm playing around. Now let me think. Do I want to give you four bands? I feel like maybe. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what a what a I, I, and that uh, what of it what an episode! Thank you all for watching. Remember to click like and subscribe. Comment your favorite part of the episode. Let me know when your birthday is. When you're the little birthday boy. <laughs> I mean, let me see your deck. Whatever. It's Fuck the same you. deck. It's exactly the same. <laughs> I changed one thing, and it's the thing I cheated with. <laughs> Did you the cut an Ecclesia? Wait, I thought you had three Ecclesia. No, oh, I have two. No. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, your deck's crazy. You're a three Radian. He said, I don't give a fuck about no, Chao Fang. No, read Chao Fang. Live, on air, right now. Leave, read Chao okay, Fang. I'll read it. I'll read Chao Fang. I'll read Chao Fang. While the synchro summoned card is on the field, your opponent cannot special summon monsters with the same original attribute as the Yang Zing monsters used for the synchro summon of this. I'm just, that, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know what this card does. My my A game was to summon this card, and I don't know what it does. Can no, you believe that? Because I, I, I thought it was like that too, and I had a bunch of random. Anyway, um, fuck. Fuck. See you guys in the ban list. Fuck. <laughs>Kind of like I did with the, what was that stupid thing? Master Challenge or whatever I did like two episodes of. Does anyone remember that? Probably not. No one watched them. They, I mean, they were fun. I think they actually did pretty good. I think I'm being a little hard on them. Master Challenge. I don't even know if they're popular enough to, okay. Um, I mean, they actually did quite well. Wow, maybe I should make more of these.